Pratt. I'm from Georgetown, Kentucky, born and raised. I'm Ag Economics major from UK. I've worked for Southern States. I've worked for Cargill. I've also worked my own company, Pratt's Lawn Landscape, started myself in my garage with two employees. I now have 38 employees, well paid, well trained. So I come from a business background, so I will, I, what I'm looking for is to help move the state along to be more economic and also business friendly because I get the fact that starting a business from scratch and I'll, or any business is tough and we need help in regulations and we need help in making sure that we are always a business friendly state. Well, you know, being, I own my own business uh, and like any business owner, you, you sit around tables, you complain about government, you complain about the overreach of government, uh, the obstacle and the regulations they put on you. Uh, and after uh, I was asked to run by several friends, um, Democrat and Republicans, uh, and after thinking about it, I thought, you know, it, if you, you, know, you need to step up and actually do something about it instead of sit around and complain. And so when this opportunity arose, I jumped all over it. I would like to see uh, transparency. Uh, in, in the government, I would like to see the pensions uh, that they're in terrible shape and they're, they're only getting worse. And I'd like to see help that get fixed. Also, I would like to make sure we stay a business friendly state and that we, and we actually get better at being a business friendly state because that is the driving economic force of the state and it's what we need to keep, make sure we keep doing. Uh, there's a lot of really good people here that really have good, uh, really, 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 truly want to move the state along. along. Uh, it is a, uh, a lot different than what I thought it would be. Uh, there's, a very, there's a vast knowledge of people here that are in office that if you have a question with the issue, you can go talk with them and they're actually very knowledgeable. Uh, you won't always know everything you know, at all times, but there are good people, good resources that you can go find out the answers to, do your research, and then you can vote intelligently on this. And that's something I really you know, always wondered about. But if you're willing to do your homework, you can find the answers and you can make very good votes on that floor. You just got to put some time into it. My name is Melinda Gibbons Prunty and I live in Belton, Kentucky. For the past 20 years, I've been the Director of Youth Ministry for the Diocese of Owensboro because they asked me to come do that. So I tried it and I didn't know if it'd be short term or long term and it ended up being 20 years and I took an early retirement uh, in, at the end of June this year to, uh, from, that, from that profession. Um, physical therapy, I was uh, in the field for 20 years. Um, it was a calling as well when I was in um, ninth grade. We had to do a, uh, in a civics class we had to read a book on different professions to try to see what we might want to do and I picked up a book that was written by a physical therapist whose husband was an author and when I read the book I thought that's that's what I want to do and nothing ever swayed me from it. The enormous responsibility of being here and the fact that what we're dealing with is going to affect impact people's lives and their daily lives at every level uh, it just has de definitely deepened my respect. It's, it's expanded those um, the realization of the deep responsibility that it is and I take it very seriously. It's kind of surreal uh, it's not something I ever thought I would do. Um, I take it as a, a great responsibility and a great honor. It's very humbling. Uh, I, if I could share a short story, one of the most humbling experiences of going door to door. Uh, it was in Arlington and I knocked on the door and a young, a very handsome young man answered the door, middle school age, and I told him who I was and what I was there for and I asked if anybody was home that voted and he said, I don't know if my mom votes or not and he went and got her and she came walking to the door. She was a bilateral amputee walking on two prostheses. As a former PT, you know, I knew that that even one leg being amputated, let alone two, you know. And um, we had a conversation, and she'd had a <clears throat> four-wheeler accident four or five years before, and didn't remember anything about the accident. And and just asking her for her vote and having that conversation, and it was like her sense of self-esteem rose, like my vote matters. And she unashamedly reached out and shook my hand, and it was a deformed hand because of the injury. And um, the wheelchair was sitting there in the yard, and I said, you need help with that? She said, no, he'll get it. And I, and I told her, I said, you're a walking miracle. And I told her son, I said, your mom's a walking miracle because they have a good relationship now, you know, and I just want that, you know, it's like, oh, please don't ever get to be a smart teenager and disrespect your mother. But anyway, I got back to the car, and my campaign, I got kind of choked up. My campaign manager said, do you miss PT? I said, no, it's not that. I said, I would represent her. So the humility of the responsibility of representing everybody in the district 
um, is very humbling, and I, I want to always want to remember that. Uh, I want to fight for coal and for jobs for our district because we've been affected economically. We've lost a lot of jobs, and coal has been um, um, attacked from the federal level. So whatever I can do in that in the arena for the coal industry, and for our coal miners, and for the companies as well. I'm Dwayne Johnson, and I go by DJ Johnson. I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. When I was uh, graduating from Western, and I uh, was commissioned as a second lieutenant, and at that time you take an oath of office. And that oath is to protect and defend the country and the Constitution. And just because I got out of the Army 11 years later, I didn't give up that oath. So I've always looked for ways to serve. Um, and as I'd moved back home to Owensboro about 14 years ago, I started watching closely what was going on in Frankfurt. And the more I watched, the more uh, disappointed I became in, with the process. And when the opportunity presented itself that I could run for state, uh, state office, run for state representative, thought long and hard about it, talked with my wife, talked with my pastor, talked with my friends, and uh, concluded that's what I wanted to do. I felt like I could serve there better than any place else at this point. Eleven years in the Army, I uh, had two commands while I was in, and the military aspect of things, the de decision-making processes and, and the um, problem-solving processes that we learned in the military, I think really um, go well with what we need to do here as representatives. So that military background helps me with that process. But uh, also at the same time, I've been in small businesses since I got out of the Army. Um, and I appreciate how what happens here in Frankfurt impacts what happens to everybody else in the state. I have gained a greater respect for the, really the importance of what we're doing here. You know, I talk about, I just mentioned that what Frankfurt does affects everybody else in the state. But when you're actually making those decisions, it becomes very clear to you that you have to be very careful with your decisions because it really does affect over four million people. One of the hugest issues as I was campaigning uh, that became apparent is the pension issue. Um, in fact, I volunteered to be on the state government committee hoping that I would be able to be involved with that. So one of the first things, or at least the most important thing I want to do, is uh, deal with that. And if uh, in the next two years in this term we can put ourselves on solid ground as far as the pensions goes, that would be fantastic.